What's going on, Jerome's NFL Network analyst and former NFL scout Daniel Jeremiah released his mock draft 2.0. And with DJ, like we said a bunch, with DJ, Bucky Brooks, uh, the 33rd team, we generally give a lot more credence to the, the mock drafts of guys that have been in the industry, still have contacts with scouts, still have contacts with GMs. And you know the, the, they have a saying that the rankings are what they see and their mock drafts are what they hear. So sometimes they hear that the league is higher on a prospect than others, uh, or they're uh, lower on a prospect than draft Twitter is, you know, th- that whole thing. So uh, definitely some eyebrow raisers here, uh, some guys that are a little bit higher or a little bit lower than you would expect, uh, but diving on in. So Jalen Carter at one, uh, no trades in this one. Uh, so Jalen Carter at one, yes, he would be an absolute game and home wrecker uh, for the Bears, and it would really suck if the Vikings extend Garrett Bradbury because this would just be a bad day twice a year. Uh, Bryce Young to the Texans, yes. Uh, indoor-ish stadium as well as warm weather a division, uh, and I know that D'Amico Ryans is, is a defense first guy, but he gets his quarterback of the future. Uh, then you got Tyree Wilson. So th- this is a first one that makes you go, hmm. So first edge defender off the board is not uh, Will Anderson like everyone expects, but Tyree Wilson, uh, super tools, the edge rusher, uh, kind of reminding a lot of people of Von Miller. Him going to Arizona makes uh, some sense here uh, as they look to rebuild that defense. Ooh, Zimmer, maybe. Uh, CJ Stroud going to the Colts. I love this uh, fit. Uh, I really do. Where, you know, you could have gone the super upside, Will Levis or Richardson here, but I think CJ Stroud is just a nail driver. I love his attitude. I love his composure. I love his accuracy. I think that him uh, working with Steichen with the Colts makes a, a ton of sense. Five. So the Seahawks are in a perfect spot where they're going to get one of these uh, great defensive players, Will Anderson or Tyree Wilson or maybe even Jalen Carter, but they get Anderson in this one. Miles Murphy goes to the Lions. So Murphy and Hutchinson paired together. That's gross. And the Lions draft gets even grosser. We'll get into it in a sec. Uh, Seven, the Raiders. So... They certainly could go offensive tackle here. They could go on defense, but Will Levis uh, has that upside where you're going to have to score points. And Levis, uh, with his legs as well as his big-time arm, you know, he really is the Josh Allen of this draft. And you're going to have to score points in this division because you play Mahomes twice a year, you play Herbert twice a year, uh, and Levis uh, is a gamble. But, of course, it's a city of gambling. Uh, Eight, the Falcons. So they pass on Richardson, but they go with Van Ness, uh, fourth edge rusher off the board. Now, I think Van Ness is interesting where I think generally people see him as a first-round pick now. Uh, I think DJ, both in what he's seen as as well well as what he hears, maybe uh, Van Ness does sneak into the top ten. So we'll we'll see. Skornowski uh, going to the Panthers now. I I mean, this would be a spot for Richardson, you would think, but... Uh, Skornowski absolutely gives them a stud along the offensive line, can play tackle, maybe projects inside the guard, who knows. Uh, Ten. Witherspoon goes to the Eagles. I hate it. I hate it. Like, how, how did they just sit there and get Devin Witherspoon like this? So stupid. Paris Johnson goes to the Tennessee Titans. Although Richardson there could make sense. Uh, Texans. Uh, so, again, even though D'Amico Ryans is a, a defensive guy going quarterback at two and then getting him uh, a wide receiver one uh, at 12, Addison going to Houston. I love that. 13, Broderick Jones, where, you know, the Makai Becton, uh, experiment isn't quite working out. So getting uh, some protection uh, for whoever the hell the quarterback is going to be. Maybe it's Derek Carr. Makes sense. Gonzalez to the Patriots. That's a perfect pick. Uh, Dalton Kincaid, the Packers, break the seal on tight ends. Uh, Kincaid is tight end one going to Gre- the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers. Joey Porter is off the board going to the Commies. 17, uh, Darnell Wright. Yes. I mean, the, the Steelers need a lot of offensive line help. I think Wright is a little bit of a sleeper at this point. 18, I said you would hate it. Uh, so Richardson goes to the Lions. Uh, and right before one pick before the Bucks, which I, I think would have been a great spot for him, but yeah, Richardson uh, gets to work with Ben Johnson, sit behind uh, Jared Goof for a season, and it's just going to be gross. Uh, Seahawks with their second pick uh, gets Smith and Jigba. Uh, so in, in Jigba, uh, as well as uh, Lockett and DK, it's a nice triumvirate uh, for uh, Gino out in Seattle. Quinn Johnson going to the Chargers. Where it's interesting. So now, like you have two Mike Williams, even though uh, Quinn Johnson doesn't play the power forward role like uh, Mike Williams does. But they're probably moving on from Keenan Allen and Johnson. Here makes sense. Uh, Brian Branch goes to the Ravens. It's just so stupid how the Ravens just sit back at the end of the first round and just amazing players fall to them all the time, always. It's frustrating, but yeah, Brian Branch, super versatile uh, 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 secondary player. 
who, if he's there, like if he's floating in the 20s, I think Kwesi should give a lot of thought to potentially moving up and getting him. But Deontay Banks, uh, I like him coming out of Maryland. Uh, this is what DJ wrote. Banks is good size. I think you'll see his stock rise as the evaluation process unfolds. The physical, uh, the, the cornerback is physical and tough. And Deontay Banks, the Richard Jr. coming out of Maryland, six foot two, 200 pounds. There is some injury concerns, but he's... He's physical. He has a lack ability to stay with receivers and a little bit cleaner of a prospect than Joey Porter. You know, Joey Porter Jr. can get a little bit handsy uh, and grabby. Uh, but I think that Banks at this stage of the draft would be a great get for the Vikings. Although, I mean, there, there's some really interesting names remaining on the board. Bruzzy's there. Uh, Jalen Hyatt, of course, would be fantastic as a wide receiver, too, with the Vikings. Osiris Torrance is a guy I like a lot. Zay Flowers is there chilling. So, I mean, there's a lot of really interesting dudes uh, just out here. And, I mean, th- there's a lot of uh, talent that didn't get selected in uh, in DJ's first round. Uh, John Michael Schmitz, uh, notably. But, like I said, the Vikings came away uh, from the first round with a guy like Banks in, in their pocket. I mean, that- that's fantastic. Although they're just this close to Brian Branch, man. Come on. Come on. Uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. DJ's Mock Draft 2.0, uh, Vikings Land, Maryland cornerback Deontay Banks. Uh, let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, and his thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once we'll put the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.